Hey guys, welcome back. Comics Crypt coming at you. This is going to be the rest of the books from my last video that got cut out. So I figured I'm going to reshoot it, show them to you guys quick. Yeah, it's going to be a quick five, ten minute video, hopefully. Um, but these I got from a place in Lemoyne called Funky Finds and Grinds. Uh, Chris McGee is the owner. Uh, very cool guy. Nice shop. He has books. Um, there's another vendor just showed up in there back in the corner that has some books. And then uh, there's a, another one. has a bigger space. Um, but unfortunately, that guy is uh, pretty high on his prices. And But anyways, enough about that. I didn't come to talk about that. I uh, wanted to show you guys the books and where I got them from. If you ever had a chance to get to Le Moyne, Pennsylvania, check out Funky Finds and Grinds. And he has lots of other stuff. I mean, all kinds of vintage toys, action figures, and you name it. It's a very cool um, collectible thrift type shop. So anyways, um, Tales of Terror from Eclipse uh, ran uh, 13 issues. I do have... A couple issues buried in my boxes somewhere and I'm pretty sure I have one and two so here's three that's an interesting cover uh, number four number five cool skeleton cover did not have a number six and I don't believe I have a number six so we get a number seven eight nine 10 and 11 he didn't have 12 and 13 and I don't think I have those either so that's going to be a fun set to put together next uh, also from Eclipse and I've really been getting into um, horror type books and I'm thinking I think I mentioned this in my last video um, I think that's where I'm going to start focusing more of my uh, collection pursuits in the bronze horror Marvel DC and I'm not quite sure I think this stuff is probably more copper than bronze it's right there on the edge but some of this um, indie stuff is pretty interesting reads too I'm still going to have some of my main things like um, I've shown off the spider girl collection uh, run I'm trying to complete and I'll have some stuff like that but I'm really going to start paring down on stuff I just got way 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 too much I need to start thinning this out anyways nightmares this was actually I believe a two issue run um, he only had issue one I don't have two uh, this is Valkyrie this is actually volume two uh, second mini series uh, three issues it's this is not Dave Stevens art. It's actually based off of Dave Stevens art. Uh, at the Air Boy, I want to say 10 was the first appearance of Valkyrie and Dave Stevens did that artwork. So we got one, two, and three. And they're all newsstands too. A pretty decent grade. Now speaking of Dave Stevens, I got to give props and shout out to uh, Ed Zombert. He's the one who did a wonderful Dave Stevens uh, tribute video, I guess you would call it. Uh, he recently changed his name as EZ Comics. So check out EZ Comics on YouTube. And he, I mean, he does awesome haul videos and he gets stuff at really good prices. But he did a Dave Stevens tribute, and this is, I believe, was one of the books. And. Yeah, I saw this and I picked this up. I think I, I think I might have spent fifteen on this, but um, I was willing to pay that. And it reprint, it re reprints the uh, Jungle Comics under the Blackthorn Publishing. And then picking up more of uh, Dungeons and Dragons whenever I find it. This is a beautiful world, the world of Dungeons and Dragons. I can't think of. The life of me, the name of this character, uh, Drizzit, Drizzit, that's it. Um, 
the last video you, you saw that I got issue number two uh, I picked up his first appearance in issue one of uh, Homelands a while back and showed it in a video so this is view this is prestige collector's edition and then I'm trying to put this amalgam line together I've seen this I think I might even have this before I, I might even be a newsstand this is a direct but uh, this is just a wonderful copy I usually this is one of the ones I usually always pick up whenever I see it at a, you know for a buck or two but Amazon it's the merging of Wonder Woman and Storm and this is awesome I absolutely love this and then speaking of the amalgam line I have never saw I've seen the spider boy but I've never saw a spider boy team up it's featuring Legion of the Galactic Guardians 2099 so that was interesting I always love seeing these new amalgam titles I you know especially when you think you have them all I really ought to look to see if there's an actual list out there because the next one is another one I've never come across before and that is Challengers of the Fantastic. I've never seen this one before. So I thought that was pretty dang cool. Now, the last three books I'm, I'm happy, very happy with. Uh, Superman, you know, this early, early bronze, uh, 235. It, I would say good condition. And I talked about this in my last video, but whenever i get into the more advanced cleaning of stain removals and doing stuff to whiten up uh this is going to be a candidate for that uh bleed m bleed o hop method to uh i can really make clean this up make these whites white again and it, i don't want to mess any book up but even if i do mess it up i got this for a couple bucks it's not a big deal it's not a key issue or anything like that now this one's kind of a uh, semi-key, Flash 179. This is the introduction of Earth Prime. And apparently in Earth Prime, all the superheroes exist in comic books. So, kind of interesting. And the last one is the best one. It's definitely low grade. I would, I would call it a uh, very good good because the staples they're, they're attached but they're they're ripped at the staples and we got some other issues but batman 183 and the second appearance of poison ivy so very very happy with that um i think i got all three of these i'm thinking i paid 35 for all three 35 or 40 for all three which yeah i don't have a problem with that that very beautiful books um but anyways that's it like i said uh, the only reason i can think of is i think my phone ran out of memory i'm not sure i thought i had it all recorded but apparently it didn't all record so there you go uh hit the hit the like button subscribe notification so you know when i pop up another video which i'll be getting ready to do another one in a couple days for new comic book day and a few mail calls i was going to put this in there too but i was like nah I told the guys i'd actually supposed to get this out yesterday but i ended up working 12 hours at work and by the time i got home i was just too beat so i appreciate you guys checking it out again like subscribe hit the notification button leave a comment below i love reading you guys comments interacting with you all um I, I really do enjoy this uh, doing these i love seeing these old school uh haul videos from other guys out there like uh, ed zombert pop comics uh, g dub uh, i have a list of them i, I could go on and on and on uh, i'll read comics 81 uh, there's just a ton of <coughs> excuse me a ton of them out there to put out good content and it's not necessarily you know spec or anything like that it's good haul pick up good and i like well g dub um is one that he'll pick up and he'll for his pc like most of us do and he'll also pick up for the flip to fund the hobby which i brought up in my last video as well which 
you got to make the hobby pay for itself. Especially with if, if you do modern books. Because modern books are starting to get really expensive. And I think when a few of my titles, uh, storylines run out, I'm probably going to start slimming that down. Because they're just getting really expensive. I'm not going to spend that much money on modern books. I'm going to start using that money for some of these older books or saving it up for keys. But anyways, I appreciate it, guys. I'll get this out real quick, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.